I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody, here we're looking at a USB flash drive that has Windows 11 loaded to it. And I set this up with Rufus. So traditionally, <clears throat> you could set up an installation media using the Microsoft Media Creation Tool. And that's still how I do it with Windows 10. But with Windows 11, in order to in order to bypass the Microsoft Elite Class Middle System requirements to run Windows 11, I actually use Rufus. <clears throat> I download the ISO image from Microsoft, and I download Rufus, the latest version at that time, and I use the utility to turn off the checks for the CPU, the TPM, all the good stuff, and now with 22H2, I have it set to bypass the internet connectivity requirements to complete setup and to bypass the need for Microsoft accounts. Now for the first few things, again the um, the TPM bypass and stuff like that, generally I do that just for my own personal use. I don't actually build and sell computers with Windows 11 that don't meet the minimum system requirements. But anyways, that's kind of off topic. Look up in the right corner of the screen you'll see a card if you had not already seen it for a video where I talk about using Rufus to set up Windows 11. So, this flash drive <clears throat> is set up using Rufus, but it's set up just for GPT, for uh, systems that have a UEFI firmware. Now, generally, all of the computers <clears throat> out there that meet the Elite Class requirements for Windows 11 already have a UEFI firmware utility and therefore could boot right off of this. But on occasion, I do install Windows 11 on some of my personal systems here that do not meet the Elite Class requirements and are actually old enough to not have a UEFI firmware. So, the issue is when you go to plug this into a, to a computer and try to boot off of it, obviously a computer with a uh, um, traditional BIOS cannot boot off something like this. Now, Windows 10, the way the media creation tool sets it up, it sets it up so that the installation media can be booted up in either MBR, like classic MBR mode, or in EFI mode, UEFI mode. With Rufus, you can set up the Windows 11 star to um, boot off of MBR, but it only works one way, either MBR or um, UEFI. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a uh, existing installation media you already have that you've created with Rufus to boot off GPT to boot off either a classic BIOS or UEFI. Okay, so now I've got both USB drives plugged into the uh, computer plexi, and here they are right here. So what we need to do first is see which one is which. We'll just go into disk management to do that. Okay, I know this one here is the one that is the Lexar because there's a second little partition that Rufus likes to create. So, so E will be your source. Now, the reason why this matters is because the uh, other flash drive has Windows 11 21H1 on it and we're wanting to get 21H2 on there. So we know this one is um, the one we're going to create so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this partition. Just delete the volume completely. Alright so I'm going to actually pull up 
disc part. Enlist our available drives. And disc three, which is the one that has nothing on it, you can see right here, that's the one we want to select. So select disc three. Create partition primary. So we're going to select partition one. Active. Assign. You know, sometimes you don't actually have to do this. I mean, in the case that the drive was already bootable as it was with the existing Windows installed on it, but sometimes if you're Starting out from scratch, it, it's going to go through and run these um, disk part commands. So now, we'll go ahead and give this a uh, format. We'll format it as NTFS. Okay, we're going to close this out. And we'll pull up File Explorer. We'll go to Computer. Let's go ahead and change this volume name over to, let's call it Win11. 22H2. We'll go in here. Select all of this stuff. We're going to copy this data. <clears throat> everything. And we'll paste it over here. And this may take a few moments. Okay, so the files have been copied over to the other flash drive. And I should mention that if you don't have a second flash drive to work with, you can actually first copy these files like to your desktop, like make a folder in your desktop and copy these files into that folder and then you can do the same steps as earlier that I did with the second flash drive except with your source flash drive and then copy these files back okay so now we have the Windows 11 test rig here this is um, built out of former Black Max hardware um, it's the AMD A6-6420K APU based system and it has a UEFI BIOS. That means say I'm going to pop this into the USB port. Actually, I'll pop, pop into one of the motherboards. It's easier to get to. And we'll go ahead and attempt to boot into both UEFI um, setup as well as CSM setup. All right, so you can see that we have um, the UEFI saying this Cruiser U, that is our flash drive. And you can see it is booting off the flash drive. It's currently loading files, that's why I don't have the spinning dots yet. Or we may we may get the new boot animation with this one since it's Windows 11 22 H2. Yep, looks kind of like the uh, the YouTube loading thing <laughs> when a YouTube video is a uh, buffering or whatever. Okay, so you can see we did actually boot up into setup here, so. 
go ahead and cancel this. Now I may actually have, let me check here. Try going to set up here. I may have uh, the boot options, or I may have legacy boot turned off on this one. Yep, I have it disabled. So if I enable it, we should be able to boot into the flash drive using the MBR setup too. Funny to think, um, Windows 11, despite knows, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that no computer on this planet with a classic BIOS meets the Microsoft Elite class minimum system requirements for Windows 11. So it amazes me how <laughs> okay for the MBR test we'll just use the QFQ Plexi very bottom here Sandisk Cruiser U okay so not really sure what was going on with uh, <laughs> this thing not really sure what that was all about but uh, it looks like we are in fact booting up into um, Windows 11 setup and we'll know for sure if it's 22H2 here in a sec because we'll see the little spinning Thing. Well, it should be 22H2 because, uh, well, I don't have any. I mean, the debtor flash drives in there is a GPT <laughs> setup, which simply would not boot on the Plexi because it's not a uh, EFI system. You can see here we are booting into Windows 11 setup. And again, this is a fine example of why I think the Windows 11 minimum system requirements. Also known here at QQ Channel as the Microsoft Elite Class Minimum System Requirements, are artificially inflated. Considering this operating system can run actually really well on a lot of stuff out there, dating back to let's say the uh, maybe the Windows 7 era, depending on what you have, or even the Windows Vista era, maybe a system like that, maybe a Core 2 Quad, well, I mean, you've seen here on the channel. If you hadn't, there you go. Me running Windows 11, 21H2, and on a Core 2 Quad Q6600, <laughs> and it running smooth as butter. You can see here we are, Windows 11 setup. So this is how you can actually, in the case where you use Rufus to mod your installer this is a way you can get it to work on both classic BIOS computers and newer UEFI systems that's the only that's the only downside with the Rufus utility is when you go to set up the USB um, if you set it up as MBR I found that systems with UEFI just refuse to um, to boot it in EFI mode so this sets it up the way that um, the original Windows 10 or Windows 11 installer would be set up if it was created by the media creation tool but you still get the uh, if it, the customizations that you set up in Rufus like the uh, CPU and TPM um, check bypass as well as bypassing the Microsoft account requirements and all that good stuff. So anyways, alright, that wraps up for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that wraps up for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to QQ channel and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also, I recommend following Q Career Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. 
In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.